Hi friends, this is attorney Marina Chapelsky and I'm a New York immigration and family law attorney uh, practicing for over 20 years and this is my channel where I post videos about law and immigration and politics and the social uh, environment of our country of the United States that has to do with immigration and law. Please become a follower on our channel. This will give me a feedback and let me know that you like our videos, you like this kind of content and we'll keep posting. Today's video is about the huge delays people who are American citizens are experiencing in all the 50 states with getting their American passports renewed. That's right, people are ready to travel. They were home for almost two years because of COVID. They were in quarantine. Everybody was, uh, you know, being good, social distancing, staying at home. People are getting vaccinated and they're finally feeling brave enough to travel internationally. Plus some countries have opened up for American travelers that haven't opened before. So this is something recent that many European countries have now allowed Americans to come and visit. And guess what happens? People are opening up their American passports after they purchased their flight and just now noticing their US passports are expired. Oh shit. And they run to the agency to try to get the passports on um, an urgent emergency base, uh, basis and they're getting turned away because the lines to go without an appointment for an in-person walk-in appointment is outrageous, especially in the New York area where I live. Philadelphia is reporting the same thing. The lines are around the, the block and people are getting turned away because the U.S. passport agency uh, here in New York and the ones in Philadelphia are very short-staffed. Typical. This is so typical. So people are reporting in different states, Miami, New York, Philadelphia, that to get an appointment for a U.S. passport agency is like impossible. To reach somebody on the phone is impossible. Once in a while they do get through and they're told different conflicting, sometimes untrue information. Realistically speaking, right now it's taking um, everyone about 12 weeks to receive a new passport if you mail it away. If, even if you're asking for expedited passport um, processing, which you can pay for, and there's a fee for that, uh, with the you know, US Department of State charges extra to make it quicker, even then it could take them up to 12, 12 weeks and they can't promise an urgently issued passport even in those 12 weeks. The US public is experiencing what we have been experiencing with USCIS and Department of State immigration applications. The same thing, the backlog is astounding. Right now, there's 1 million pending US passport applications. This is for people who are getting their passport for the first time, like children or new US citizens, like naturalized immigrants uh, who became citizens and people who are noticing that their passports expired and they need to travel, whether it's for vacation or to see family overseas. Uh, the US Department of State is telling people that if you do have a life or death situation and you bring your application, all of the documents that are requested to support your US passport application and the proof of the life or death emergency in writing, they will issue you a passport, but it's gonna take about three days, which you used to be able to get on the spot or the same day, and I've done that before. At this time, I do not recommend using any agencies in other states to get you a passport. I think it's a waste of time at this time because of the crazy backlogs. I don't think the agent is gonna be able to get you anything much faster than you can get for yourself. The passport agency where you can go for a walk-in appointment or a regular appointment doesn't have to be where you live. So if you're willing to drive, I believe right now Vermont is just basically taking in walk-ins and I know it's not closed for people on this coast from like New York or Philadelphia, but at least you know you're gonna get to be seen that day and you can get an urgent passport in three days in Vermont. In New York, the lines on Hudson Street are around the block, amazing and long. And I recommend if you do plan to visit the New York passport agency, 
you get there at like four in the morning and you get in line and I believe you're not going to be the first one there. You'll see. Uh, but you must bring all of the paperwork. You need to bring two passport size photos, your old passport if you're renewing. If you lost your passport, they might ask you for a police report of the loss. If you are a new U.S. citizen, you're naturalized, you have to bring your naturalization certificate. You should probably bring your old passport and other picture IDs that you have just so that they have it as proof of who you are. Another thing that people are reporting is that when you send away your passport application, it might take about three to four weeks. Don't be afraid for the electronic system that they have online to show that your application is pending or processing because they're even delayed with processing that. And the way it generally works is you send your application to the National Passport Center they process it and then they send it to a local office for issuing the passport. So if you are from a big city, the chances are you're then going to be delayed when the application comes back for issuing a new passport in the local city and they are delayed. Like New York City is very delayed. So keep all this in mind. Don't be frustrated. And if your passport is expiring in the next six months, you should file the renewal right now. What you can do is you can look up online what post office, US post office near you accepts passport applications in person. It's probably the best thing to do because you'll get to see a physical human being in person, you can apply. You also can go on the website and download the application for the US passport. Make sure you get the right form because there's different forms for the first time applicants versus renewals. Fill that out, attach copies of whatever documents they need and send that away. Or you can go to the post office and submit it in person. And if you do go, you can get to ask questions, how long it's gonna take, what you should do and so on. Keep in mind that the US post office generally with mail and everything else is also very delayed because of COVID. People are just slowly coming back to working physically in person at the office who weren't working during quarantine. Some of them were working from home. So all of this is causing chaos and havoc with the US passports. But I think in another two, three months, things should get back to normal. And again, if you do have a life or death or illness type of an emergency that you have to travel for, you need to have document proof. If it's like your mom, you should have a birth certificate to show that that's your mom and a medical letter from that country showing that your mom in that country is sick and you need to go see her. That's that's what you need to prove, the relationship to whoever you're gonna go to and so on. If you have like a wedding or something like that, they might accept it as an urgent reason or not, it depends. So just be careful and good luck with your travels. I wish you lots of health and luck. And if you guys know anybody who needs an immigration attorney, we work with people all over the United States and all the 50 states. Our specialties are uh, abuse visas, asylum, uh, any denials, we can appeal, anything really complicated, we'll be happy to help and fix and get approved and get more of those U.S. citizens out there to vote. And remember, you cannot vote unless you're a U.S. citizen. It's a crime and you'll get denied for U.S. citizenship if you vote with only a green card. But if you are a U.S. citizen, remember to vote. Bye-bye.